Good day, my name is Tomasz and you're watching Casual DIY channel. Today, just a vloggy type video. Check it out. It's that time of the year again, guys. It's Easter, just around the corner. So I want to take this opportunity uh, to wish you happy Easter that you will spend it with your family and you will have a fantastic time. Despite of everything that's happening around the world, you know, it's really important that those short moments that we've got with our family that will enjoy it and it will bring us some warmth to our hearts. So again, I wish you fantastic Easter for you and your family, your friends and your closest. I hope you will take this time to regenerate your batteries and it will give you some energy for the rest of the uh, springtime and then summer and fantastic projects you can tackle in your workshop during that time. And as we are on the topic of projects, as you remember, I had a lot of lumber lying about on my workshop floor. I managed to cut it into pieces and this will become my raised beds for my vegetable garden. Now, again, with everything that's happening around the world, basic things like food, vegetables, the prices are just absolutely bonkers. And we do have a small piece of land that there's nothing there, it's just barren. And I thought to myself with my wife that we'll transform it into a nice vegetable garden. So I'm going to be building eight uh, raised beds. Obviously, it will be all recorded for you guys, so you can check that out. Hopefully, probably I will be finished in about two weeks, fingers crossed with that project. And during the spring and the summertime, I will be building a few more things, a few more projects for our vegetable garden. And I hope you're gonna enjoy those videos and um, I will be able to share with you uh, what we managed to actually grow in our vegetable garden uh, later on this year. On the topic of tools, um, Evolution, if you have noticed, maybe some adverts that Evolution are releasing uh, a range of tools, battery operated. Now, you know, I'm not a massive fan of those type of tools. Hopefully, I will be proven wrong. I had some tools from Trend and they're not too bad, but we'll get to those thoughts in probably a few months time when I've got more time with those. Uh, however, I'm hoping that I will be able to test some of the Evolution tools as well and bring you my honest opinion on those as well. Probably, hopefully, end of um, summertime, maybe September-ish, so a little bit later than they actually are releasing. So if you're not in a rush to buy them, you can wait for my reviews and my initial thoughts on those tools. Also, I managed to get some um, really cool additions to my uh, laser. I wasn't showing that much on my channel, but I probably should have, because it is absolutely fantastic tool. Uh, the Auto 2 Master Pro or something. Now I've got two additions to it and um, that's what I'm going to share with you in the probably in the next month because uh, it is quite cool. Uh, the additions are really, really nice, especially for people that are starting off with, you know, working with lasers and all that and they want to be safe, basically. I think they're very, very cool additions to it. So I'm going to share that with you as well. After the uh, planters project, uh, I need to build a desk for my son. So that will be one of the projects upcoming on my channel. And I do have a lot of projects to do in my house. However, <laughs> as you know, you know, pandemic, the prices of all the timber, all the sheet materials were bonkers. Now we've got the war. It's as bad or even worse in some cases to be absolutely honest with you to actually get any timber the only timber i can uh, get for reasonable amount of money is the one i've got for my planters which is roof sawn third grade straight from the timber yard however that timber is not really suitable for making any furniture cabinets anything like that unfortunately so that's why you know this part of the year will be heavy in projects related to garden where i actually can use the timber that's cheap and i can actually afford it i'm pretty certain that most of you are in the same boat as i am and you know the prices in stores are just shocking me every time i go in 
So, uh, yeah, I think it's all over the place. I think it's the same situation everywhere, really. With regards uh, workshop upgrades, I've got two things in mind. Well, three, actually. Um, at the minute where that timber is uh, and all the boxes with my resin, I want to do a small, really small workbench on casters with some storage inside uh, to tackle smaller things. You know, you can sit next to it basically or stand next to it and you've got some smaller items on there to work with. And I think that will be uh, quite useful there as sometimes, you know, um, I don't want to use my large workbench as it has got the dock holes in it everywhere and if you're working with smaller things you know what happens if you've got an mft type uh, tabletop uh, and just beyond that i want to have some sort of a storage solution there again it's a bit of a dead space for me at the minute so i've got the conduits there and it's not a massive space however i want to use it for some storage so uh, that's two projects that hopefully will be done within two months Plus, I'm thinking about removing the wood rack I've got. Why? Because to be fair, if the wood is stacked as it is, it's actually I had to take a lot out to get to the wood itself. Still, you know, there's a lot of room in between the levels that is basically wasted. So I'm thinking of taking the whole thing down and on this wall actually making some storage solution that will be on the wall itself. Now I've got a few designs in my head, I'm probably not going to be reinventing the wheel here, um, but in a way it will. I will try to see if I can save space and have a better solution for all the wood I've got to basically access it easier as it is now with this card it is fairly difficult to access like the boards that are way beyond there or you know stacked underneath and to be fair still got a lot of room just above there um, so yeah there's a lot of opportunity here to make a wood rack that you know will be just more efficient also had few requests from you guys about topics of videos for example how to take roofs on timber into our nice board that you can use for a project so that's one of the things that is coming and there's a few ideas like that um, on my channel that you mentioned that in the comments and i want to take this opportunity um, you know if you've got any particular interests or any particular things you want me to cover for example with tools how to use something or anything like that as you know i do um, record um, already made quite a few videos that talk about all the basics so if you've got another tool that i have actually got and you want to see it in action let me know down below in the comments section what basics you want to learn and find out as well or maybe you know it's time to move on into a bit more advanced stuff so let me know in the comments section so that's about wraps it up i this video was really to wish you happy easter and you know hopefully you will spend this time with your family with your friends with your loved ones and you will have a great time and i really wish you that from the bottom of my heart for today guys that's it have a fantastic easter take care